it's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the black cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. He'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. I owe him the truth. Him? He's nothing now. I'm still a Lannister. And I know plenty of men who'd happily slit your throat. Now, give us a moment. We're not done talking. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you, and will continue to do so, until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei will be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. She'll have my head. She'd rather have mine. So make something up. Tell her what she wants to hear. Enough of this nonsense. You're wasting my time. Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna just go to the main menu really quick and just replay that with the truth. Send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I really must speak with you, Lord Tyrion. Clearly. You're here, aren't you? At least you brought wine. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. 
doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Cersei. <clears throat> to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. She left me no choice. She never does. Least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. I owe him the truth. Him? He's nothing now. I'm still a Lannister. And I know plenty of men who'd happily slit your throat. Now, give us a moment. We're not done talking. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie will understand. Cersei left me no choice. Let's hope she understands. Because absent her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. She'll never believe that. Then come up with something better. Tell her I intend to call Sansa, uh, Varys, Jaime. Give her a list of names and be done with it. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. My only regret is what happened to your brother. If I'd only... Please. Let's not talk about Arthur. Not now. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are? We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry! I thought you were alone! Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. 
Oh, I, I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon. I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held. It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Were you seen, Talia? No. It was dark, but... I saw him. <clears throat> Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. He's given information to our enemies. I'll do whatever it takes to stop him. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. I'm lord of this house, Talia. It's my job to deliver justice, not vengeance. I can't promise to kill a man before I've heard him out. You know what he's done. That should be enough. Talia, please. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. You scared the bloody daylights out of me. What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Why, Roybert? Why did you do it? Your father was the greatest lord I've ever known. But you! You brought this house to ruin! You pushed me to this, Roderick. I trusted you, Roy. With my life, Cha, you'll trust anyone who makes the right noises. And you know why? Because you're weak. You're weak, just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices, too, since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Kissing Lud's ring when you knew we had to show strength. Letting Griff force you to the ground without a shred of dignity. Taking Duncan to High Point when what you needed was an experienced soldier. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. Enough, Roiland. You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. 